stage I'm at, I want to work as little as possible and do as much as possible. I, I can't explain it to you because I just don't think you're going to understand what I'm trying to say. So Elephant, I agree with you. Thank you. Hi, William. Yeah, but what is rewarding to one is not rewarding to the next person. So every person on earth has a different value system and based off of that value system that you have will determine what you find rewarding. Also, based off that value system and what job you find, if the things that you find rewarding are travel, uh, financial freedom, et cetera, et cetera, then obviously having a job that pays more money is going to be more rewarding to your value system. That's where my mind goes anyway. So I don't ever feel the need to dictate or comment on someone's choice of occupation, what they choose to do with their life virtually because it's none of my fucking business, no one asked. Um, and how I choose to lead my life is going to be different to how everyone else chooses to lead their life. And everyone's compatible in different ways. I don't feel it's humanly possible to be 110% compatible in every aspect with a person because we're all just so different. Yeah, 100%. But I also find money rewarding. So, but it's fine. Do you know what I mean? There's no right or wrong way to lead life at all. It takes a lot of mental stability to be able to go into a role where you're dealing with other people's problems. It's taken me a really long time and a lot of inner work to become a person who can remain neutral even if I can see that the decision someone else is making is ruining their life because no matter what I say, that person's just going to do whatever they want to do. People only listen when they want to listen. But it has taken me a long time to get to that point in life where I can look at things and be like, hey, you know, if you need an ear to talk to, I'm here, but at the same time, I'm never going to be a dictator in your life. I'm never going to try to control what anybody does. You need to do what aligns with you. And if it's a mistake, you learn from it, right? Are you asking me what car I drive? Me? Why? I'm 25. My day's been really good. Why? I'm curious. Well, I wasn't going to tell you my rego. I just want to know why why there's some significance to which kind of vehicle I drive. Hi, how are you? Thank you for the follow, Daz. I'm a normal girl. 
I think anyway. Uh, but I drive a practical car. Not a Getz, not a little Hyundai, just FYI. Just a normal car in my opinion. Life is good. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're beautiful too. Or handsome. Whichever you prefer. What's a cruise? No, I don't drive a Nissan. You wouldn't scare shitless. Huh? No, I don't drive a Holden. I definitely don't drive a Suzuki. You've changed. I'm so confused. <laughs>